Welcome to Mind Your Business, the channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So I'm coming with a bit more of a sad news story, I should say, or a bit more of an angry one. Um, so a brave 11 year old mixed race boy spoke to local media outlet in Cornwall and the outlet's name is Cornwall Live. Uh, he spoke about his the uh, racist abuse he is facing at his primary school in Cornwall in the UK. Now the story is really heartbreaking. Instead of enjoying school and playing with friends in his final year of his primary education, no, instead of playing, he is now subjected to racism from other children. I mean, they've been calling him names like black idiot, slave, the N-word, and a lot more. And his parents did say in the article that they have been to the school numerous times and were really upset that the head teacher of the school responded by saying he, as in little 11-year-old boy Ashley, should be thinking about how he reacts to the abuse. Like, are you effing kidding me? So basically, the school is turning on him, the 11 year old Ashley here, mixed race, who is dealing with racism. And rather than the head teacher taking, you know, tackling his head on and dealing with the children, she has, she or he has opted to instead um, turn it around and place the blame on this boy. You know, I mean, the head, head, the head teacher should be ashamed and needs to do better or just get out of there because if this is your response, you don't need to be in the business of educating children. Now, the media outlet Cornwall Live chose not to give out the school name, which I think is a mistake because they should have named and shamed them rather than protect this school. And the head teacher's response was highly offensive. Like, do your job and deal with racism. Racism is not to be tolerated. Children are not born racist, it's learned behaviour. So why not suspend or expel the children? Send a message to the children and to their racist parents that this type of foolishness and racism won't be ex uh, accepted in this school. But no, instead they turn it on to the child who is being taunted by racist children. I mean, seriously? I mean, it may, you know, it, 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 it made me come to the assumption that this head teacher might be like this one. My class, one third of my class, are black children. Then I've got a bunch of half-caste children. I've got one little girl who's stunningly beautiful. She fell over, scraped all her face. I admit I was slightly surprised that where she scraped all her face, it's all pink underneath. Right? Did I expect it to be black? I don't know. So yeah, I am mad, I'm angry, I'm hurt for this young boy right now. Unfortunately, he is having his N-word wake-up call at the age of 11, which is just so, so sad. And we all know that childhood experiences can be very traumatic, and this is quite a traumatic experience for any child to deal with, okay? And childhood trauma isn't anything to play with. The experiences can have a lasting impact on you. So, it, you know, it's, it's a really sad situation. And I felt really sad, sad for the family as well because I was read about the mum who's, you know, the mum's black. And she goes on to say that she has been spat at and has had to deal with racist abuse as well since moving from Liverpool to Cornwall. So, I mean, racism in the UK, I mean, it's been reported that racism in the UK is on the, is in, is on the increase. And, I mean, in the USA... The racist, ignorant fools are powered by Trump and, you know, those kind of people who are happy to um, um, fly the flag for white supremacists. And whereas in the UK, they're powered by Brexit and people like Nigel Farage, who is a, in his younger days was a national front. And then, of course, you've got Theresa May and her government, even though we know she's stepping down soon. Although these people would all deny it, just look at their actions, look at their policies. Now, don't get it twisted. You know, I'm not saying the UK is, um, was never racist before Brexit. No, no, not at all. There have always been race issues. One of the most recent scandals was, you know, um, Theresa May's immigration policy that saw families ripped apart and people from Windrush generation being deported after living in this country for years. Now think about it, Windrush was between 1948 to 1970. So that's nearly half a million people from the Caribbean moved to the Britain and having been invited here due to, you know, shortages from the Second World War. So, you know, our Caribbean people come here to come and fix up this place and take on jobs that some of the white people didn't want to take. And then, of course, use and abuse these Caribbean people and sent them back, which was really quite disgraceful. And we know she gave some pitiful apology. I mean, which I, again, I think Theresa May 
just is a joke to me. She, she cried because she had to resign. She didn't cry because, you know, of all the people that died in Grenfell or because of, um, in the Grenfell Tower or because of the, the devastation she's caused to so many families. No, it's because her legacy will be hurt. But anyway, I digress. So the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, for most of these Caribbean people who did get, you know, um, deported, but there's some of them, you know, they had ties here, no home to go to, nowhere to go, having lived here for the majority of their lives. But did the government care? No, they didn't. But I could go on and on, but that's for another video. I will do another video on that. But yes, racism in the UK exists. It's just a bit more covert, a bit more subtle, rather than in your face. But you do hear about your upfront racism as well, okay? Because, you know, look at Ashley's mum, who just spoke about being fat at. And of course, we know about Stephen Lawrence, who was murdered by racists in London, um, in Eltham. So things do happen and have happened here and things do continue to happen because even in the, the articles about racism on the rise, they talk about bus driver in December of 2018 who was attacked as well recently as well. So there's lots of other things that um, are happening. You don't always get to hear about it because you know the media to me don't really care that much about what's happening to black people. But anyway, back to... Um, back to Cornwall you know if I was a parent I'd be causing so much havoc in that school that head teacher needs to be dealt with I don't know if it's a case that the head teacher doesn't know what to do or but to me you are in education and if you know a child's been discriminated against it, you know it's not rocket science this is 2019 like fix up there's, there's, there's nothing else you can do to convince me on that but to me she needs to be the she or he the head teacher needs to be reported to education authority something needs to be done now if that was my child that child would be getting either taken out of school if they're getting harassed every day and i'd hobble to school them or find something else but there's no way i'm going to put up with that kind of rubbish and i can see the family is obviously put at their last tether which is why they take it to the media so i'm hoping the school will, will, will do something about that but what do you guys think you know what would you do what would you do if this was your child let me know your thoughts below. And I mean, I will say this last bit as well, it's just sad. And the truth of the matter is that all this is down to the miseducation of white people, the lies told in his story and the sheer evil doing of white supremacists. That's not to say that all white people are bad, no. But white supremacists, yeah, they are the evil, 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 evil. You ain't superior, you're not better than anyone, you know, but this is all the lies that you have been fed and, you know, somehow believe. But anyway, get back to me on your comments. Let me know what you think below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.